Hi everyone, this is Jim with Bones Dent Repair. Behind me I have this classic Pontiac Tempest. Unfortunately suffered a really nice dent to the rear deck lid of the vehicle. Hit right through the body line. I'm gonna roll some clips of the damage for you guys here, show you this vehicle, and how I'm gonna repair this with Paintless Dent Repair. Let's check it out. So this is the part of the video I'm most excited for. I get to show you guys this incredible Pontiac Tempest. The year the vehicle is escaping me, I think it's a 64, 65, but check out these stacked headlights and that broad rectangular grille. Just love the front end of the car. Definitely my favorite look of it. So the original patinaed paint job on this vehicle stood the test of time all the way back from the 60s, can you imagine? This vehicle really was in pretty great shape. So the dent to the trunk lid was really a misfortune. Pretty simple accident, you know, something came down on top of the trunk, but it was struck really hard. Creasing this old thick steel takes a lot of force. Now, I already mentioned the, the paint on this vehicle is patina. It's, it's a dull sheen. So what I'm gonna do in order to have success with this repair and properly view the damage is apply a clear packing tape. This is gonna add gloss and give me a brighter reflection while viewing the dent. The way dent repair is done is we use specialized LED lights to basically cast a shadow on low spots and highlight high. So we're viewing the damage while using metal bars from the backside, pushing and reshaping in the perfect spot. So I'm really gonna work this clear packing tape into every crevice, every low spot. I want it perfectly adhered. That way there's no false lows, false highs. So being thorough with each and every step is always key with dent repair. Every process is very methodical and thought out. My favorite saying that has stood out since early on in my career was the long road is the short road. There truly is no shortcuts in life and tent repair is a perfect example of it. Now this portion of the video is gonna get quite long and hopefully not too redundant, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the instruments I use. This is my hammer and knockdown. I use a series of knock knockdowns depending on the type of damage, metal, the type of high spot I'm trying to properly hit. And this one has a nice broad smooth face. Now, this tool that I'm showing here now is the pushing rod that I used for most of the repair work. The Johnson set made by the Dent Slayer. The Dent Slayer is manufactured by A1 PDR Tools, a company based here in America, providing the highest quality tools for paintless dent repair. The Dent Slayer brand is owned by an incredible gentleman named Matt Boyette. Recently, Matt Boyette repaired a brand new Rivian. It was an incredible feat of repair work with paintless dent repair. So much so that the video went viral on YouTube, gaining him the spotlight on Fox Business being aired on their television show for a live interview. I thought that was really incredible, but even more so that this customer of this Pontiac found me based on that viral video. They seen the Dent Slayer video showing off that Rivian repair decided to do a Google search in their area and seeing that Bones Dent Repair was a few blocks away from his own personal business. It's just a really cool chain of events and also being able to use a tool made by that company for the vehicle and repair work found due to their video, it just kind of was a really neat scenario. So much so that when we first met, I gave a Dent Slayer sticker that I had here at my shop to this customer, which they 
later on put on their dash. Pretty neat. This story is a true testament to how powerful YouTube videos can be for small business. A incredible ripple effect his video had on my personal business hundreds of miles away with no relation. That led to a customer doing some research, seeking out paintless dent repair, and found my company online, something I'm super thankful for. In the past, my YouTube videos have led to business interactions, something that I've always found to be just the coolest thing ever. This may not be my most used platform, but I'm excited for the end of this year in 2024 to put some more effort and release some footage of the repair work on a day-to-day -day basis here in my shop. I'm gonna set some new goals, and although I don't have anything set in stone yet, a minimum once to twice a month would be a really good goal for me to set. Now, I am closing in on the end of this repair. I know that watching me has gone on for quite some time, but I do appreciate you sticking around to the end. I've got this all shaped up to where I'm happy, and I think the customer will be too. Perhaps he'll leave the metal bare, or maybe do a little bit of touch-up paint at a later time, but I think the overall patina being saved is just perfect for this car. Well, that's gonna wrap up the difficult repair to this Pontiac Tempest. This thick steel really was a challenge to reshape. Overall, I think we had good success, and I'm really looking forward to my customer picking this up and getting the reaction. Uh, knowing that this vehicle's kept old school and original, uh, with its patinaed paint, but no longer that nasty body like that. So if you like this video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, maybe leave us a comment. And I appreciate you guys watching this video and I hope you have a great day.